It seems like whenever I decide to uh, choose a game I'm going to do an update over, Splinky is always in the top two somewhere. I, I was going to do like Hand of Fate or Space Pirates and Zombies, but the, pre the former one, there's a guy that talks over me, and also the other game is just way too demanding. So I hope you'll enjoy more Spelunky. Before I do anything else, I just want to uh, mention about Satoru Iwata, CEO of Nintendo, dying. He's the co-producer of Earthbound. And it, it kind of caught me as a surprise, really. I thought he was doing just Peachy, and then all of a sudden he just falls over dead. Kind of surprising how things could go bad so quickly. But yeah, he, he made Earthbound, so he can't be that bad of a guy. He was an okay CEO, made some bad decisions, but he just, he, he's human. You make mistakes sometimes. He gave us the GameCube and the Wii U, which is not a bad console, don't listen to the internet. It's just, it's just, it's just wrong, it's full of wrong people, I'll tell you that right now. The games it has now is excellent, and beats whatever the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One have. I'm just gonna put that out there. As you can tell from the title, this is um, a combination of my four-year anniversary. I called the other video my four-year, which was actually a fallacy. It was only my third year. But I can't go back and change some stuff in my video, like words that I say. This one is the official fourth year. And also, um, yeah, almost 1,000 subs. Did I just drop? Yep, I dropped it right in spikes. I'm close enough to 1,000 subs. It's 994 right now. So, that's close enough for me. You never know when those subs are going to come in. You never know when YouTube's going to decide, Oh, that guy's inactive. I'm just going to take a few away from you now. That's a really, really stupid system. I mean, if they're in... Most subs are already empty to begin with, so it doesn't matter if they're inactive or not. They're not really going to do much. Not offending anybody that's actually active on my site. It's just, uh, I'm just stating facts here. It happens. But enough of that. Um, I, as I promised before, there was going to be a 1,000 sub Let's Play of a game called Kokoron, which is a build your own Mega Man game. And I, I still want to do it, I'm just having some problems with the planning. There's some planning issues involved. It was inspired by what Deceased Crab did back in like 2007, 2008. The only problem is that he had a much better, uh, a much better base to do things with. He used something awful, and uh, of course he's going to get a, a great resp response there because the video wasn't that bad, and also Let's Play was a relatively new thing, so people were interested in it instead of just trying to make their own. I don't have that luxury. I wanted to involve the communities of the Let's Play subreddit, Let's Play Sanctuary, and just anybody on YouTube in general. Now, that's great and all, but I don't have a central point in which to base my video off of. Oh boy, a dark room. This is going to be terrific. So... I have to make up some new plans. Let's Play subreddit will not let me post there because they have a policy of not self-advertising. I mean, maybe if I could talk to a mod or something, but uh, I've been talking to two of them already, and uh, I, they, they, they don't seem too uh, they don't seem too enthused about breaking their law. It's like, um, yeah, I saw that happening. They just gave me some general advice, which I might take to heart but they didn't really give me anything in the way of help trying to make this thing a reality. So I'm going to have to plan it on my own. Uh, they did suggest that I use straw poll for, you know, any kind of voting that is going to go on. Like, you could vote for what stage to go to next because the game's pretty non-linear and there's many, many different routes to take. And also voting for... Uh, for what character will be going there, because you can make it several different characters. And then I was going to use YouTube comments for people to suggest character builds. Just don't do anything lame like making a robot. Yeah, robots are cool and all because of sci-fi. It's just... General Robot Guy and Super Gundam Man just doesn't work. 
I'd like something a bit more original when people start voting for characters. We'll get into that later as, uh, as I make a video on that. As I make the first video on that. I can show you how the characters are built and all that. How the stages work. Otherwise, I'm just going to freeze things like Gru. Uh, do I have anything else to say on that? Not really. I'm looking for some other ideas besides the whole straw poll in my creator comment. And using YouTube's comments as kind of a suggestion for them. Because that's the only thing I could think of. I don't know if anybody else has any other options that I could pursue. Please leave, let me know. Because I really want to get this thing underway. As for that, I've been keeping on track of uh, Mother 4 and La Milana 2, which would definitely be my next two big Let's Plays to do. I mean, I got Knit Underground too. That's another possibility. But I don't want to do that and then end up ha having to juggle playing Mother 4 at the same time. I like to keep my focus on one game at a time. I don't even play a lot of other games that I would like to Let's Play record when I'm already doing a Let's Play of a certain game. I like to keep my thoughts pure, in other words. Uh, Mother 4, Shane, Shane Mesa made a little bit of a fiasco in his stream where he was saying that he doesn't think Mother 4 is coming out in August or this year, in fact. But Zane... One of the, the guys that are the head developers had to step in and go, You know what? Sh Shane may be great with the music and all, but he's still a part-timer. He works on other projects. He's not privy to the information to be talking about that kind of stuff. So that sends me a uh, double word there. That, um, well, that rumor is false. But false in what way? Are they still planning an August release? Are they still planning a release this year? I'm hoping that's true. But otherwise, we can only speculate at this point. Hopefully the modern men haven't gotten to them. The game will end before it starts. And with uh, with the Wata dead, who is uh, obviously a big supporter of Earthbound since, you know, he created the game. I just uh, hope that whoever takes over for him isn't anti-Earthbound and, you know, tries to get Mother 4C indeed. Because that would upset me. A whole bunch. That game looks really good. Nintendo would be a monster, and I'd probably decide not to buy any more games off of them. That's how much I'm behind that. But other than that, not so much news for Mother for... They've been talking about how they made battle backgrounds and such, which is uh, great if you want to know the technical aspects on how to make a Mother game. I also heard rumors about somebody that's making a Mother 5 unofficial title. But that's like so early on in its conception that's not even worth mentioning. Also, there's another guy that's making an Earthbound type game about the government chasing you and such. I don't know how that's going to work out, but eh, sounds interesting. That's still in really, really early, early phases too, though. La Milana 2, I'm still getting backer notifications about it. They're working on another alpha build, and they had a contest on, uh, kind of costumes should uh, Lamisa get in the game. Like they're voting on a, a new one to add. So we got that too going on. I think I made a Twitter post about that along that line somewhere. I voted for the Aztec looking one. I forget what the name was. You go boom now. Thank you. I can't help but start Let's Playing when I do an update video. Maybe this has been a bad decision. I mean, Spelunky three times in, what, two years? I guess it can't lynch yourself that much. But other than that, La Milana 2, not so much news coming out of there. Except, uh, unless you want to know how, what kind of curry Naramura likes, then hey, bonus. Um, I got some other news that's not Let's Play related, which is just stuff I want to talk about. Like, I got a Ness Amiibo, and in Smash Brothers, I named him OK because I didn't want to go to the generic PK fire route. Come down here. I have a whip for you. This is whip is delicious. There you go. So I have a, a Ness Amiibo now. And I opened the box in such a way where the box is actually in a near mint shape. I learned some tricks on the internet. And also I, I picked up some Wii U games, which is nothing to be too excited about. I got Mario Kart 8. I'm thinking about getting Super Mario 3D World, so 
If anybody has any input on that, I would like to pick it up because I haven't played a Mario game, dedicated Mario game, in 20 years. The last one I played was Super Mario World, and that was on an emulator. I didn't even touch 64 or any of their 3D offerings. Because I was in that phase where, what, am I a kid? I don't like Mario. Mario's not edgy enough for me. And Sonic's too much of a dork. All platformers are stupid. As I say this while I'm playing a roguelike platformer. Okay, before I contradict myself anymore. That's pretty much all I have to say about stuff. So, if you guys have any suggestions on what to do in, uh, regarding Kokorone, please, please give me some, uh, information, because I'm a little bit stuck. Just a little. Otherwise, I'm going to end it here. And the next time you'll hear from me is probably when I start, uh, start preparing the whole thing. So, good night, folks. Thanks for, uh, Thanks for almost a thousand subs. Actually, I do have one more thing to say about that. Apparently, that whole rumor about YouTube uh, drumming up their advertisements for you is apparently working because I did 900 subs back, like, what, three, four months ago? And I'm already staring down 1,000? Yeah, I think there's a little bit of truth there. Good night, folks.